What's going on, guys? It's the Colonel, the Bunch of Crunch Army, your motivation guy, Keith Allen. And today, okay, we're going to bring you yet again another episode of What Would You Do? The series where we show you pro players getting caught in tough situations and you decide what you think the players should do next. This time, with arguably one of the best trios in the game, like right now, Ray Zane, Nore Lee, and Vino. All right, so throughout this video, we're going to show you clips of these amazing pro players getting caught in some of the most sticky situations and ask you to predict their next moves. You don't have to, but it definitely would be a good way to show your current knowledge and game sense of Fortnite. Either way, hey, make sure you guys watch till the very end and catch some serious plays from the recent Cash Cup winners. You guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. All right, guys, so FYI, just to help you guys just separate players' in-game names if you're not familiar, BL High Ground is Nore Lee. Solo Vino is Vino, and Raisin A32 is Raisin A. All right, guys, so the first clip from Raisin A's perspective during Game 5, the Cash Cup, is going to teach us a few things about dealing with early game gunfights, all right? You know, he just finished looting a building in Believer Beach and is rocking the all-gray loadout looking for some easy picks. You know, he knows that there's a team that's landing south of him, so he starts looking in their direction. Just as he suspected, he spots two players, one on top of the roof and one to the right of the building. He instantly shoots towards the player on the right, and he gets him down to one shot, but unfortunately, can't yet just finish him off. So, with one extremely weak player and the other with high ground shooting at you, let me ask you this, what would you do? A. Go back looting for shields since you're only on 65 HP. B. Keep shooting from where you are. C. Push the player who is one shot. So if you chose C, then you're definitely right. All right, so since the player is one shot and Raisin really wants that Siphon Mad Rewards and Elimination Points, he aggressively pushed the player down until he got him. The reason Enemy on the Root didn't cause too much of a problem for Raisin is that he was pretty much in a fight of his own with Raisin A's teammates. So Nore Lee and Vino were pressuring him with ARs from two polar opposite angles in order to distract and overwhelm the opponent, allowing Raisin to cleanly shoot him in the back and continue pushing the player he originally got to one shot. So the thing is this, Raisin knew that he was able to take the risk confidently because of the communication that he had with his trio. And so if his teammates weren't available to help him at the moment, he probably wouldn't have pushed him that aggressively and may have just chosen option A instead to go back and find some extra shield. Option A may look like a smart idea since being on such low HP early game is a huge weakness that easily just gets you sent back to the lobby. However, in this case, the reason why it's not the best choice in this scenario is that Raisin practically knows that he's safe to push because he has a strong backup from his teammates. The player who's watching him from the roof of the house is being distracted by Nore Lee and Vino. That's, so that just gives him a chance to loop around and shoot him in the back. So once he's out of the way and he gets health to match from the siphon, the last player doesn't stand a chance. You know, Fortnite has become more and more mechanically demanding, and that's why Pro Guys has the best one-on-one -on -one coaching in the world. Our top coaches are the top of the line, bro, and are trained to help you guys get better step by step. So I highly recommend checking them out as we're also running a 20% discount using code RankUp2021. Visit the link down below or the top right corner. So, our trio is in game one of their cash cup. They just finished eliminating another team early game and the first zone is moving to the left side of the map. Another trio who is even further outside of the circle starts sniping at them while rotating in. So in this situation, let me ask you this, what would you do exactly? A. Rotate away from the team sniping at you and just try to get into a safe spot in the zone, then hold them in the storm? Or B. Push the team into the storm to get some more elimination points? Or C. Take shots at them from where they are? If you chose B, surprisingly enough, you're right. Raisin A, Nore Lee, and Vino have an extremely aggressive W key style of gameplay, so pushing into the storm to rack up some more eliminations isn't too much of a challenge for them, considering it's only the first zone and the storm only takes for one HP. I mean, it shouldn't be too much of a risk, not to mention they aren't too far away from the circle and they also have a launch pad to help them. However, since the zone pulled far to the left side of the map, that means the second zone could pull even further left, making rotations a bit tougher for them. So if they get caught up by anything like another third party or they get held up by another trio in the zone, it could pose a real hazard to the rest of the match. 
Nonetheless, the trio managed to quickly and effectively eliminate the trio sniping at them. It didn't really look like the opposition even stood a chance, which Raisin, Nore Lee, and Vino quickly realized, which is why they were so confident in their attack. You know, if you're wondering why our trio didn't go with option A and rotated away from the enemies into the zone, it's because they're looking for as many eliminations as they can. And so if their primary goal was to get the win and get their victory royale, they might have chosen A, but it's not. What the trio needs is as many points as they can to get to place well in the cash cup. And they're not just going to get that by just waiting around and just playing passively. And on the other hand, option C is incorrect because if they shot at them from where they were, okay, first of all, they're making themselves easy targets for snipers and third parties. But secondly, this storm would have meant that they had to just move away. So staying where they were was just a never winning strategy. Let's take a look at this clip from the same game just later on in the match. Raisin A comes across two players who launch pad away from the fight. Both in different directions, Raisin focuses on the person who went towards the small house. Alright, so notice how Raisin A at the moment has no teammates near him. So if this were you, what would you do? Be honest. A. Wait for your trio and then go W key the player. Or B. Go alone and fight the player at the house. Alright, so you may start noticing a pattern here. This trio is ruthless and risk taking. Option B is exactly what Raisin A did. While he could have played it safe and you know, waited for his trio to help W key, that would have given the enemy time to do many things like reposition, hide, heal up, and much, so much more. So in W King, the main goal is to restrict the enemy's time to think, making them panic and hopefully not making the best decision. If he would have waited just, you know, even a few more seconds, the enemy might have just had more time to think this through and counterattack Raisin A when he came. For example, the enemy could have just shot back here, and I mean like right here at Raisin A, as he was gliding towards his location. But he didn't because he panicked and was already on low HP. So he hunted him down and he flawlessly got the elimination within a mere few seconds. W King with style. While this is impressive, okay, you should consider that this is the first game of the Cash Cup. So, you know, there's a lot of players here that won't be as skilled as the players in the following matches. So after he knocked the enemy, he shook him down to reveal the other teammates' locations. Soon enough, eliminating those players as well. All right, so guys, in this next clip, we see our trio yet again land at Believer's Beach. And it's no surprise that our trio is contested by a couple of other teams. So after just finishing up NRG Benji Fishy's trail off spawn, Nore Lee gets sniped at by yet another team who landed to the southern half of Believer's Beach. They miss, but now our trio knows the location of the enemy. So in this scenario, what would you do? Would you A, push the team and try to wipe out another trio? B, disengage and loot for more weapons for a little while longer before fighting? Or C, base up for high ground and look for long distance tags? If you chose B, you're definitely correct. Disengaging from the fight is the right move here. You know, even though the trio looks all right on loadouts, none of them actually have a pump shotty. You know, they're all wielding tech shotguns, which isn't ideal. On top of that, they simply don't have enough materials to confidently fight the enemy trio. And if they tried to push or just W key, they would have just burned through all their materials super fast. Plus now, like they've wiped Benji Fishy's trail off spawn and they now have the entire top half of Believer's Beach all to themselves just to loot for better weapons and materials. No really knows that the snipe shot that was sent his way was just an attempt at an easy knock elimination and not the start of an enemy attack. And so we can assure that if the enemy player had landed that shot, they probably would have just tried to finish our trail off. But it still isn't guaranteed that they'd win simply because their lack of materials and loot would restrict them. Alright, so option A wouldn't be a smart move because W King early game fights are always a risk that poses the threat of dying without gaining any placement points, right? And the reason option C isn't a good idea is that it just uses materials and it isn't really progressive at all. Alright, so one of the most important skills in pro Fortnite is time management. And sitting in a one by one early game is generally a bad idea. Since you should be preparing for mid game and late game by farming mats, rotating, and so much more. All right, but you current Sami, it's time for our recap. We're gonna see what we've learned in today's video. All right, so if you get a player to one shot, but just can't finish the elimination by yourself, 
Call on your trio for backup, all right? If they aren't ready to help you, then what's the point in having a trio anyway? Use multiple angles to distract and overwhelm the opponent, making them an easier elimination. Purposefully storm fighting shouldn't be looked down on. If done correctly, I mean, it's another way to pressure the enemies and grab efficient elimination points when you're in a cash cup or even a tournament. However, just always be wary of how far the zone is and keep up to date on how much it will tick for. So if you're playing for as many kills as possible, splitting away from your trio temporarily is a good way to grab the limbs if you're confident enough. But remember this, one mistake and you're a goner, man. Your trio won't even be there to res you or even pick up your reboot card. Lastly, try not to engage in a fight that you don't need to take when you don't have enough materials or the right loadout. The only reason you should push a team early is when you have a big advantage over them or if you're just forced to. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I know you did. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at your motivation guy, man. I hope these videos really inspire you, you know, to put yourselves in pro situation so you can see how far you are from being the best of the best. You can do it. Believe in yourself or nobody else will. Hey, connect with me. I believe in you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.